Well, welcome back. In this video, I finally get a start on the exhaust system. So, start off uh, taking off the original mufflers and uh, the header pipes and standard XJ650 exhaust uh, tubes are inch and three eight. So, what I want to do is make a full system myself out of stainless steel, including the um, uh, the flanges and and uh, I'm not sure about the mufflers. I'll probably buy some and and just install them onto the pipes I make. But I'm going to upgrade the pipes from inch and three eight to inch and a half. Um, and here you can see I've got both sides off. It looks starting to look a lot different now. And I take the headers off. Um, when I did the Mozuki, uh, the seals in there or the gaskets actually sat over the tube, and then there was a raised section. On the tube that press that gasket down so I wasn't sure how these were set up but as it turns out these are a bit different where probably like these better actually where there's a, f a flat face on the end of the tube which presses up against the gasket so um, once I get these off you can have a look at what that looks like the gaskets in here I don't know if they're original yet uh, or not maybe somebody can tell me but it looks like there's some sort of copper washer and they're really squashed in there so I'll have to try to get them out at some other stage so here I'll just remove one of the pipes and you can see the end here that large face at the end uh, what I'm planning to do is make those myself out of 304 stainless so I'll get on the lathe knock them up and make it so that the inch and a half uh, tube I'm going to use just slides inside there and then I'll weld it on so first step or the next step was I used some stainless steel flat bar 75 by 8 mil thick and I just got a carbide tip uh, hole saw and cut the holes I needed so I've allowed a millimetre or so clearance bigger than inch and a half so from memory I think this hole saw is 39 mil so I cut four holes to start with and then once I did that I got the original flange just to get a bit of a size comparison Mark them up, cut them out, and um, I ended up with four new flanges. So eight mil is plenty, but I do want it to look reasonably uh, chunky. Uh, I thought this would look a bit better than just going six mil. So once I had them marked up, the other thing I wanted to do was uh, just add some finishing touches to it. So I've just uh, drilled, not too deep as you'll see, a whole round of um, dimples I suppose so there's uh, six or so on each side and I think it came up quite good so I did those on all of them after I cut the hole saws out and then what I had to do was bolt them all together spend a bit of time grinding to make sure they are all the same size so here's the four of them all bolted together just to make sure they'd be consistent and the same uh, this is quite a chunk of stainless steel as you can imagine. It's probably inch and a quarter, maybe inch and a half thick with them all like that. So uh, I did try to cut them as close as I could and they probably needed a millimetre or so taken off of them but it still took a bit of effort. So it probably took me a good half hour or so of grinding. So just patiently went around, used a square, tried to get them all exactly right or as neat as I could. And then um, once I'd ground them up, I got the flapper wheel out with about a 120 grit just to give the surface, you know, a better finish. And uh, yeah, as you see, I, I think they come up really well. So at this point, they're all made, they're all dimpled. And what I wanted to do was put them in the lathe and create a small recess at the back. And in the next video, I'll I'll do that machining so you can get a better, better idea what I'm trying to do. But as you saw on the standard exhaust, there's like um, that sleeve. So I want to make that sleeve and uh, the, the end that goes against these flanges will be bigger. So it'll press against there and it will take any strain off of the actual tube, which is what I want. So, you know, it was a bit of messing about, but I think it's turned out really well. And the work I've done here sets me up now to just actually run the inch and a half tubing. So I'm going to go four into two uh, and obviously have one muffler each side. And I've got some stainless steel mufflers planned for this. So 
it's starting to take shape. Um, there's still a fair bit to go on this, but I'm glad I did this groundwork because it was a fair amount of work in grinding and getting this all set up. So uh, in the next video, I'll actually run the exhaust pipes and hopefully finish the mufflers off and the exhaust system will pretty much be complete. And the next step after that will finally be taking the engine out, which is something I've actually been looking forward to. Stay tuned.